M0FXB. So we're just still looking at this RS-MS3W program for terminal mode and access mode or DV gateway on the 9700. I've got the 52 and I think the 705 as well. So we've got to the manual. Let's have a quick look here, which we can put the link in the description. This is what it says about the software. It's Android or PC. And it basically connects you straight into D-Star connections. No hotspot required. So we've got the manual. And now we're going to have a little read down through. I've downloaded it. And we're just looking through. And when the software is running, this is what you see. Now, I've got, I have actually got my radio connected to it. But at the moment, no one can hear me. So we need to get the settings right in the gateway repeater server, which could actually be an IP address. Make sure I'm using the right terminal call sign, which I've got registered. So I need to make sure that's the same as what's registered with the D-Star gateway we know it's global, we know that one's disabled, so we, we, are, we are connected and we're getting this, but we're not get, no one's hearing us, so we're still playing. So I've got to the point where I'm lo looking at the manual. Um, so we've done the first part, which is just basically running the zip and installing it, that's fine. And some description here of what each thing does. So number, the, the play is four clicks to start connection and stop, that's obvious. When you want to select your COM port in device manager, make sure you've downloaded, the, you've got the driver in for the, your particular radio. My COM port, if I go device manager, comes up as nine. I'll show you what that looks like. There you are, nine, okay. So, and I know it's connecting and talking because I can see that that text that you can see here didn't appear until I was connected, so I'm happy with that. Um, COM port, now number seven says terminal call sign. Yeah, I just said we need to ma match that up with what's registered, which I'm going to double check in a sec. Scroll down, gateway type, hole punch. Enable you to communicate with other stations who use ter terminal or access mode. You do not forward port for 40,000. Allowed call sign less. Stations are allowed to transmit through the internet while, en while enabled is selected for allowed call signs. Now, does that mean other call signs or my call sign? In the call, deleting the call sign, in the call sign field 13, click on the call sign to delete. Okay. Here I'm guessing. Call sign information field, display the information of call signs that are transmitted from the PC or received from the internet. The repeater 2, I've had this. Allowed call sign. Select to use call sign restricted for access point mode. When enabled, it is selected. This allows station of the assigned call sign to transmit through the internet. Call sign field. Signs are allowed to transmit while enabled in selected. Apply button, yeah. So, hmm. <laughs> Not really sure that um, helps me a lot. So... But there is a manual for the this app. This app. I'll put the link in the description for it. Here's the app connected, and you can. I've got it on my Android phone as well. So file, and then the settings. There's a com port. Well, I've done that. You only can put in one thing. The rest you're putting in here. Get you gotta get the correct gateway, the correct the correct call sign in here. Um, and then when you click play, you know, I'll just turn on, put my radio back into, it's the 52, I'm in terminal mode. Now when I click pl um, play, like so, click start, and then I key, 
it will say something like unlink or well, not lit they are connection failed there so I'll do it again here when you get it right failed to connect to network so when you get it night I mean the radio does beep when you get it right you should it should I would say say connected so yeah keep playing thought I'd show you the manual show you what I'm getting up to and I won't give up until I've got it working I'm, I'm sure it's a couple of simple like I'm sure that once I get the right re repeater domain or IP address here one that's active get my correct call sign in I think it will just start working 7-3 all the best